Welcome to Backstage with Richard Ridge. One of Broadway World's favorites, Evil Noble Zada, just took her final bow in the smash hit musical Hades Town. And I caught up with her in the Rick Miramontes Atelier here at the Civilian to find out how emotional her final performance was and to chat about her residency at Joe's Pub and preparing to co star opposite Jeremy Jordan as Daisy Buchanan in the new musical, The Great Gatsby. Well, first of all, you look sensational. Richie, are look you at joking? Us. Look, look at us. us. Now, where are we? We're in Rick Miramontez's atelier. atelier. Soon to be Atelier Cabaret. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> at the Civilian. You've been in this room before. Yes. I love this hotel. Yeah. I love this room. Civilian is the best. Yeah. David Rockwell. Yes, David Rockwell. Yeah? Yes. So first of all, it's so great to be catching up with you. I know. Okay, so the last time I saw you, you were in the middle of the run of Hades Town. Yes. You just took your final bow just the other day. Huh? I did. <laughs> yeah, totally. I did. What do you remember about that day? I... Very good question. <laughs> it's going to take a while. It was so long ago. I mean, it's interesting. I feel like the harder show was Saturday night because I had more to prove. You know, yeah. But Sunday, I was. We were just sh so carried by the love of the audience and just how much work had been put into the show for so many years. I think I could just go in and enjoy the day yeah. as much as possible and let the show and the music carry me. I didn't feel like I had to work at all. I just felt like it was more cathartic than yeah. anything during that last show, and it was excruciatingly heartbreaking and also very beautiful. Yeah. Did you know? Who was going to be there from the original company? I didn't know anyone <laughs> was going to be there. I didn't know there were going to be speeches no. at the end, which is why I prematurely started to um, celebrate <laughs> in my own special way. <laughs> okay, so when you found out look, who was there, who came mm -hmm. from the original cast, it was Amber Gray. Amber Gray came out first, okay. and then Andre DeShields came out, and then Patrick Page <laughs> came out, and it was just, it was great because I felt like the show needed. Um, not needed, but it was so nice that the show was receiving so much love and praise from that audience. Um, and it really felt like it it filled up the, the love meter yeah. of, of love for the show and for the curse. And for everyone who worked there, you know, because it's not just the company that puts the show on. It's the crew, it's stage management, the audiences, the front of house. So it was nice for everyone to be celebrated. I hope that's how everyone felt. Yeah, because we have some beautiful pictures at Broadway World yeah. that Jenny Anderson had Jenny taken. Anderson. Yeah, but I mean, who was there to capture those actual moments? Yeah. Because you just sort of live through them until yeah. you get to see a picture later on and like, oh my gosh, this is what happened Sunday afternoon. Yeah, it's all one blur yeah. until you look back at the pictures. You go, oh my God, that's what I looked like. But it was it was so beautiful. I, it was, I'm still recovering because it was such a massive yeah. closing in many ways for me, but um, the day was so beautiful. You've had quite a journey with this show, longer than people think, because when, yeah. when did this start for you, Hades Town? Well, for me, it started in 2017. That's when I first auditioned. It was July. I did my first and only audition with Reeve. It was a chemistry reading, <gasps> um, and I thought I, I thought I was going to be blacklisted from the, the industry. It was such a bad <laughs> audition, I thought. And Reeve sat at the back and watched me do flowers, and I was like, there's no way, there's no way I'm getting this job. Yeah. Um, and I, thankfully, that wasn't the case. Yeah. Uh, and I joined the company the following year. We did a music workshop in March. I wasn't able to do Edmonton because yeah. um, I was doing another project. And the insanely talented TV Carpio um, played Eurydice in that. And then I joined in London in 2018. Yeah, because Reeve had worked with her. Yes, in Spider-Man. Yeah, which is, there's some stuff on the Hello? wall back here. Bono and the Edge here at the Atelier. Exactly, in the Rick's Atelier. <laughs> and also, I have been a fan of TV Carpio since yeah. Across the Universe. Um, the movie of Julie Taymor did, yeah. which she also did Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, um, with the music of, from the, of the Beatles. And I just admired TV so much because I was like, wow, look at this stunning yeah. Asian actress. And I was really inspired by her. So it's crazy how, this, how small the world is. Okay, then there's the fans of Hades Town. Yes. That people have flown in all around the world and yeah. continue to do so oh, yeah. to see this show. Have you named the Hades Town fans? Do they have... Is there like a, a fan know. name? I don't know, but if there is one, please tell me. <laughs> I would like to know. But they're just incredible. I mean, the show is a legend and a myth in itself, yeah. as much as the Greek myth was. So I think that's, I mean, it's such a fantastic show. I watched it for the first time on Tuesday, and I was blown away. I, my eyes were so puffy, it looked like yeah. I had an allergic reaction. So you, got, <laughs> so you actually got to watch the show Tuesday? I had never seen it. Yeah. I had never 
seen the show, from the second it came out, I was bawling because it's also, you know, family. Those are my family members. Yeah. And also to celebrate Celia and her stunning Eurydice debut and to see Reeve do wait for me in the audience just took my breath away. I, I was, it was so remarkable. Because people who are doing a show, you have a whole different perspective because the lights are coming at you oh my and gosh. you're seeing an audience. Yeah. But then sitting in the audience from a whole, when it's all turned around and you get to watch Completely the magic different. that is Hades Town. And some, most of the times when you've watched from the house, you're watching rehearsals, yeah. you know, no one's really going full out and it's like, it's show lighting, but you know, they're in normal people clothes. Yeah. And this was, you know, I was just able to experience everything and my God, like, Reeve is just out of this world. Oh, he yeah. is the most incredible, yeah, I don't yeah. have the English word. I, I, I'll find it one day to describe how potent he is as an artistic. Yeah. Just going back to that chemistry audition, you really didn't think you were going to get to work with him, did you? I didn't, you? I thought it was a joke, Richie. <laughs> I walked in, yeah. I, those days I just walked into auditions. I didn't even warm up. I just had, you know, yeah. the, the passion of a naive, you know, young person and the second I saw him, I was like, oh, come on. Like, he's gorgeous. Yeah. There's no way. Because I, I didn't have enough makeup on. You know, my hair wasn't done. <laughs> you know, I didn't look my best, but I gave my best. Um, but yeah, I was, I really didn't think I got the job. <laughs> what do you remember about your first performance together on stage with Reed doing that show? Oh my gosh, the first performance. Well, we were in London. Yeah. Um, the only thing I can remember is from, from working with him in the music workshop, that's kind of when I got to work with him yeah. the first chunk of time. Just the professionalism, the, the mastery of craft and of music, how much of a foundation that is to him, really had me step up my game. I was like, yeah. oh, like this is a musician that's like legendary. Yeah. Like, you know, and for me, I was like, I have to step it up. I have to, you know, get my stuff together. I have to make sure I'm coming in and I'm, I'm crisp and I'm prepared and I'm ready so I can match. Cause I didn't want to get, you know, it would have been really embarrassing to get fired after the casting <laughs> announcement. Oh, pink slip. Thank you so much. The following Sunday. Yeah, right? Goodbye now. Thank you so much. But I mean, what a company you got to work with. Like you said, oh the other God. night, Patrick Page came back. Mm -hmm. Andre DeShields came back. I mean, Amber Gray. Amber That's Gray. the Hades Town company. That's what, how close your company is, right? Yeah. Everybody looks out for everybody. Everyone looks out for everybody. And then we have the tour family, yeah. which, you know, I never got the chance to the tour, which was, I'm kicking myself. I have, I have time now. Yeah. Um, but it's cool because some of the members from the tour company come in to the Broadway company and it just feels like, like one big family. And the great thing is Hadestown isn't a particularly large cast. Yeah. So we, it really does feel like a close-knit company. And it's magical. Yeah. I'm, we're really lucky. Why do you think fans have fallen in love with this musical? Um, many reasons. I think... You know, you can't say no to a love song, yeah. and you can't say no to a Nais Mitchell love song. Yeah. I mean, she writes in a way that is, you know, like, I feel like if she wrote, like, all of a sudden you were flying, then we would just start flying. Yeah. Like, she, it's like she has a magical pen. Um, and also, it was, it's so cool to see a myth that's relived in a way that is fresh and raw and in your face and relatable. and with characters that everyone can relate to at certain times. And um, there's multiple love stories in this show. And I feel like anytime you go, you relate to a different character and you feel changed. You feel, yeah. you leave the theater feeling inspired by Orpheus and the purity of their love. And also the power of spring, the power of rebirth. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of impossible to leave without feeling Wonderful. Yeah, I know you just left the show, but what, what are you missing the most or what will you miss the most um, about not being a part of the family or playing Eurydice? Uh, I like a paycheck. I like getting paid. <laughs> um, I, but I, totally. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to miss anything because it took a lot of pain to make the yeah. decision to leave, but I knew that was best for me because yeah. I think once you do a long running show and you start to feel like it takes a little too much effort to get yourself together to go through your good job. Just for me, I felt very unaligned, um, which was, it's just a good, it's a good thing that I was aware enough to go, okay, this is a sign for me to move on. There are other projects in my life that I thought they didn't want to be in the back burner anymore. So I had to make space for that. So that was a painful thing to um, decide upon, but it was the best decision. 
Um, but I'll miss the people. I'll miss seeing them every day. I mean, I'll miss not seeing Reeve for like those yeah. hours of the day. And even now, I'm like twiddling my thumbs and like, miss you. You need yeah. anything? Or, you know, <laughs> just you know, because it's like you know, Reeve's I you know is my best friend, yeah. and it's weird not working with him. But you know, we got the rest of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many performances you did in Hades Town? Uh, Fifteen thousand three. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I, well, we like actually, Carol Chatty. Literally, raspberries. Oh, <laughs> um, flowers. I I actually don't know. I think it's around fifteen hundred because the the Tuesday before I left, we had just surpassed Cabaret. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. That's a lot of performances. That's a lot of performances. Yeah. Not including um, London. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you brought a lot of joy to so many people, as mm -hmm. you know. Because you have a huge fan base that flies in from everywhere just to I can't see you. I it. And they bring me, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't, it, it really is a, without support, I yeah. wouldn't be where I am. It's very much, yeah. I want to make that very clear. That, you know, it, it is hard work, it is, you know, the craft, but a huge part of that is the support. And I would not be here feeling how I feel without the tremendous support that I'm extremely grateful for. Yeah. The fan base is amazing. Well, you don't have a lot of time off because you still have your summer residency at Joe's Pub. Yes, we have a final show this Sunday. Yeah. Very exciting. We're doing um, mostly 90s songs, which is fun. Um, I just bought my, my outfit today. It's going to be very cute. Uh, we're doing No Doubt. We're going to do some um, Mazzy Star, some Santana. Um, a little Broadway medley. Yeah, stir it up a little. Because you've done three shows during the residency, right down there? I did two, and then okay. this is my third. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll put other shows in the books, but nice. you know, it's, it'll be nice. Joe's Pub's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I'm, it's such an amazing venue. I'm, I'm ecstatic to be there. So are all the shows different that you put together? The first two were the same. They were yeah. piano only, and it was, you know, it was all a Broadway set, which was so nice. This is going to be rock. I've never done a show that was more like alternative punk grunge before. Yeah. Um, so it'll be it'll be fun. I, I really want to go as crazy as possible for this one. So we'll okay. see what happens. So it's more is just a piano this one or is it? Oh, band. I got oh, oh. Zane, Zane Carney on guitar, Robinson Morse on the bass, oh, uh, Stephen Jackson Jr. on the drums, Ronnie Bush on the piano. Um, yeah, me me yeah. doing any, anything, you know, doing other stuff. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a backflip. Who knows? Yeah. Wow, so Zane's coming in Zane's this. coming in. Oh, this I would have asked Reeve, but he's a little busy. <laughs> he's doing a, a show <laughs> called He's doing eight shows a week, yeah. Wow. I'm excited. It's exciting. You yeah. had a good time playing there already at Joe's Pub, right? It's just yeah. a great venue. Like, it, it's, it's historic. Yeah. I mean, you feel the performers who have been there before. It's like they leave essence on the wall and it's yeah. almost like they're watching so you have to be on and it makes you I don't know it's just it's a magical venue yeah yeah okay you said the first two shows was a lot of Broadway stuff mm -hmm. is there a, like a, a die-hard role from a vintage Broadway musical that you'd be like yeah vintage. I want it well, what do I call it yeah. vintage I call it old school oh I love the word vintage yeah, yeah vintage these shoes are thirty dollars <laughs> vintage oh yeah vintage, uh, yeah, store, vintage store I'm trying to think um I'd love to be Sally <gasps> Cabaret, let's put this out there. It's coming um, to New York. Sally yeah. and Reeve is MC. Yeah. Por qué no? Um, what else? I mean. That's, a, that's good though. What? Oh no, I'm forgetting the. Um, we'll play theater games. Go ahead. Drowsy Chaperone. Yeah. The Beth Level role. Yes. Yes, the Drowsy Chaperone. That's all you have to say. The, like, Beth the Beth Level role. The Beth Level role. So that's what you want to do. That would be great. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. I mean, it'd be cool to play. I don't know. Now I'm thinking. I'm seeing that there's like this design on this thing, and I'm like trying to think oh, like Chicago. Roxy. Rox Roxy would be fun. You be Velma a great be Roxy fun. or Velma. Oh my god, I'd love to do that. Where's putting it out there to Broadway World? Yeah. Sally and Reeve. Well, yeah, the, MC. Oh, no, MC. Reeve is MC. In cabaret. Yeah. The Beth Level role. Beth Level role. <laughs> and the Drowsy Chaperone. Or just I'll just dress up as Beth Level and just walk around Times Square. It'd be an honor to do that anyway. Anybody will take a picture Anybody with you. Would do Everybody that. would love that. And of course, Roxy or oh, Velma. That'd be fun. Oh, nice. All that'd right. Okay, so Actually, I, I feel like we would be great as Velma and Roxy. We would be. But you'd have to be Roxy, I'd be Velma, then we could switch out. Great. All right? Yeah, per night. All right. Yeah. Well, just like Laura Linney and Cynthia Nixon oh, did with Foxes. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so this excited. Is okay, this is done. Okay. i got to get my Velma wig, right? I'll get my Velma. <laughs> Very nice. Finger, nice finger, finger my, waves. My, my finger waves. Absolutely. That's amazing. Okay. So then after Joe's Pub, you're getting ready to play Daisy Buchanan yes. in the brand new musical, The Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. How did that come about for you? 
<laughs> crazy. You get an audition. Okay. And you go in and you just lay it all out for these people. Um, I never prepared this hard for audition before. Okay. Um, I really thought I I needed a sunshine role, um, which for me was something that didn't involve me dying. Um, allowed me to, you know, be a little more attractive on stage and not just wear dirt and no makeup, <laughs> which is fine. But you know, I've done that for like ten years. Uh, you have done I did that. for ten years. Totally. Um, and something that was so different, you know, a completely different world that allowed me to flex my oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> I would flex my muscles and, and really delve into a part of yeah. myself that had been waiting in the, patiently in the wings. So, um, and the team, oh my God, the team Talk was so lovely. Talk about the team. Um, Jason Howland yeah. and um, Dominique Kelly and Kate Kerrigan and... Um, Nathan. Jer Nathan, yes, and, yeah. and I'm being Jeremy Jordan. Yeah. I mean, 16-year-old me. Right, let's, talk, watch let's, Smash. let's talk about this. Jeremy playing Jay Gatsby yeah. and you playing Daisy opposite him. How incredible is that going to be? Pretty incredible, yeah. I would say. Did you do a chemistry no. working with him? Not at all. Okay. They were like, this is your role. You're going to be Daisy. I guess. Yeah. They were so great, generous. And I, yeah, I really prepared hard for that role because I wanted to prove that I could do something other than... You know, the tragedy. Dirt, the dirt the dirt. the dirt ladies. The dirt ladies. <laughs> the dirt I mean, ladies. the miserables, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you do them well, too. Thank you very much. So what did you, did you have to prepare stuff from the show? Like, mm -hmm. how intense? Because everybody asks, what are these audition processes oh, like? Yeah. So was this really intense for you? It was intense for yeah. me because I wanted it to be intense for me. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to make sure that I was pushing myself as much as possible. And it depends. Sometimes a show wants you to sing what you want to sing. Yeah. Um, this, they gave us... The songs, they gave us the scenes, which there are scenes. Oh, yeah. And for me, I'm very excited to sink my teeth into that. Um, it's just so beautiful. And to me, it's, it was beautiful how easily the script turned into song. I think that that is a very, not a very difficult and also magical thing to have in a show when you don't even realize that the actress is singing. Yeah. You're like, whoa. Um, and it, it just takes you away. Um, and for Daisy, I mean, I mean, I don't know who who's read The Great Gatsby and hasn't fallen in love with that, you know, America, um, America literature that's you know yeah. historical. Um, it's going to be the biggest, most glamorous challenge so far of my life. I'm very You're excited. You're going to have some beautiful costumes. They told me. Yeah. I have a new costume every time I walk on stage, which is so crazy <laughs> to me because most of my costumes go from, you know, dirt to dirtier to dirtiest. <laughs> And now you'll be in glitzy like sequins and beads. Sequins, and, beads, yeah, a false lash. Who oh. knows? Yeah. Oh my God, the opportunities are yeah. endless. It all takes place in the twenties, right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. an exciting time period. I know. I mean, we're in the twenties now. Yeah. So I feel like everyone wants to party hard and yeah. look amazing. You know, you 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 leave us sometimes for like film and TV and everything else, mm -hmm. but you always come back to the theater. Baby, the theater. Tell is, me why. Yeah. The theater is it for me. Yeah. I don't know why I want to say this so much, but you know, there's no place I'd rather go number two than at home. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's a comfort there. Yeah. You can, I can do it anywhere else, you know, but there's a magic of stage. Yeah. Like for me, I feel like Nicole Kidman at AMC for at the AMC theaters. You know, we come to this place for magic. That's how I feel when yeah. I go to the theater. Yeah. Anything's possible. Movie and movies and TV is also magical, but for me, it's. It's like a short fuse magic. Yeah. Like you, you prepare, and then once you film the scene, it's done. You don't do it again. For me, I love that we can we do it over and yeah. over again. Um, I don't know. And you get to have a new audience every night. You, the world is different every day. Yeah. You're working with new energies. It's it really is the ultimate like energy master kind of craft. Yeah. I love it. But you change people's lives too because. A lot of people don't know what live theater is. They know That's someone true. from something else, and they're like, oh my gosh, there are live people up there. They do this. Yeah, we're not robots. Yeah, but they do this eight times a week. Eight they do this times live. A week. You know, and you also, someone may see themselves in you saying, oh my gosh, mm. she can do that. I can. I want to do that too, you know, and right? Anybody. Yeah. I love, I love it when people come to the stage door. Yeah. And at any age, it goes, well, I've always wanted to be an actor. Or they say, yeah. I used to act. And I'm like, well, once you're an actor, in my opinion, you're an actor. Yeah. Even if you're not acting right now or doing a job, you're still a performer. Clown, I'm, I'm a clown for life. Yeah. 
Um, oh, I know that. You know what I mean? I just think that's so, what a badge to wear that we go on stage and we, we can, you know, mold the energy in the room to tell a story and we can all go on it together. Yeah. Like, that is so powerful. Yeah. Um, and I love making people cry. Just like I love making people laugh and I, because I'm experiencing that as well. So it's, it's a give and take, it's yeah. beautiful. Okay, so I remember you telling me when you did Les Mis, there's the turntable. Oh, yes. And it never stops. It, it's very fast and no. it's also raked. Okay, so did you have anything go wrong for you on the turntable? Did I have anything go wrong? Is an elephant heavy? <laughs> did anything go right? <laughs> well, there was one day. First of all, when they teach you how to use your revolves in Les Mis, they, 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 they really, I mean, they don't have revolves anymore. Yeah. But back in the day, back in the day, <laughs> they tell you there's a certain exit downstage right at the end of, at the end of the day. And you're in these, you know, oversized cloaks trying to be the people of, the beggars of Paris. And if you don't make your exit within a, a second, you will get crushed huh? by the revolve and by the barricade. You have very little to exit. Because I don't have the greatest eyesight, you know, I have to wear glasses and I don't wear contacts because I cry a lot. I was really excited. It was one of my first, you know, few, few shows in, in, the, in, the, in the show. I said, at the end of the day, we're waiting to exit. I realize I've missed my chance and I just have to jump off. And I jump off in, straight into the barricade and I go boom, tumble down and I fall to the floor. And the, the funny part for me was that the, the, the costume women were not at all surprised. They just helped me up and they just kept getting me ready because I guess people did that all the time. No. But they don't use a revolve anymore. I think it's a safety hazard. That was the worst thing that ever happened to you. Um, well, Did you fly off once? Just fly off in general. I flew off a few times, Richie. <laughs> also in Lovely Ladies. There were, there were a few times that I flew off. You can't see it yeah. because it's, it moves so fast. The stage is also raked. And you're too busy doing five rolls at yeah. once. I will say the revolves in Hadestown sometimes, the, the ending, that one time where it didn't go down, yeah. oh, at the very didn't. end. It went, and I'm like, oh, it's not going to go down. So I had to look at Orpheus and go, oh, Orpheus, he's a spirit of sea. And I go, I just walk off stage. I just walked off stage. Like I forgot something in aisle three. <laughs> That's the craziest thing that would happen. I've never asked you in Hadestown with all those things. That was the craziest thing that went wrong? I'm trying to think of the craziest. <laughs> well, we, oh my gosh, there was so much that happened. I feel like the craziest thing that ever happened were in Saigon because there was so much yeah. going on. But we had a few times in Hades Town where some things weren't working. But you know, the job of the actor, you just keep yeah. it rolling. Sure. I mean, I did have a, I was just telling Richie about the lyric mishap that I had uh, on Les Richie. Mis. <laughs> I, I, and I don't know why I said this. No. Um, I really do not know why I said this. I, you know, sometimes you're thinking of your grocery list <laughs> when you should not be. And at, in London, I said, on my own, pretending he's, and the correct word is beside me. <laughs> But I chose to sing another word that rhymes with beside me, but wasn't beside me. It was yeah. inside me. And no one knew? Well, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think the audience knew because it was, I tried to cover it up as yeah. good as possible, but in my brain, I thought I'm getting fired today. Yeah. Here's your pink slip. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for so your much for coming. <laughs> Literally go home to New York. Thank you. Here in London, go home. Here's yeah. your flight ticket. That's crazy. That's the best. Thank you for sharing those. Anytime. I love you. I fell in love with you, you the day you arrived in New York City. And now look at us now. Look where we you are. You know what? We're, yeah. The Broadway community is so lucky to have you. Oh, I love and I know, you. And I, I know, I hope you know that I, I feel that deep down. Uh -huh. Just like when I saw Jenny on my last yeah. show, I was like, oh, it's home. Yeah. That's how you make people feel. Uh -huh. oh. I love you for that. Thank you. Anytime. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There is. There. I don't be a <laughs> I love you.